it rolling away on it, then we start getting into this where, wow, we're doing, instead of a five day week, we're doing a six day week, and then instead of a six day week, we're doing a seven day week. And, you know, and that, that gets to be a bit of a grind, right? So I think that in, in order to try and uh, get things out of control and not have that go down that way, they started a little bit early, another week earlier, and maybe we'll go another week later. So you're at it a while. Each episode takes eight days to shoot. Really? And then, wow. and then well, that's eight days, and then, and, then, and then there's probably two or three days of second unit going on to do that too. So it takes some time, like it's no joke. The first season, the first season, it was always just eight days. There was never any second unit. And then second season, by around Christmas, the episodes started to get bigger, and you know we have a big cast. You know? So um, then they started to add two extra second unit days, they call them. So sometimes you know the top. So that's a full time. That's a, a second unit. Pardon me. A second unit is a full time either crew. You know, so the, you know, some of the actors will be working over here, and that part of the studio, and you know, another group of a full, full DP operator, the full deal, be working in an entirely separate unit, going somewhere, going on somewhere else. Wow. Uh, so it's pretty much a, it really, it's a nine and a half month season for sure. Yeah. And it, you know, I'm going to for the actors. I mean, it's so much I mean, for me. I, it's, for a lot of nights, it's it's fine for the kids. You know, who are who are in, in it constantly, it can be a grind. But what it really comes down to, man, if you're a member on something like that, you're doing. 16 hour days, if you're doing that for nine months, it, it's a grind, right? Well, that's the you know, transport guy, when you show up with their rigs before everybody, you do the whole makeup pair, everybody shows up to shoot the 16 hour day, and then you put the trucks and everything back together, and then you drive it back to the lot. So some of those guys are going So you guys are happy to have vacation for a couple months? <laughs> well, you know, for Martin, it's not so bad for me. For, yeah. for us, it's not bad. You know, yeah. obviously, we're in maybe two, three days an episode at the most. But the last three episodes of season three, I think. Archie, Benny, Veronica, Junkhead worked seven days a week. I don't think they had a day off in the last three episodes. That, that, um, that's a grind. And you know, it's nights, it's days and nights. So, um, yeah, those guys work really hard. And, uh, yeah, they, you know, they don't, they never complain. They just, they cruise along and do it. Thank you. You're you know, we're fortunate, right? That's what that is. Yeah, exactly. Hi. Hi. Um, did you realize well, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely read um, Archie Comics when I was a kid, and uh, when when I first, uh, when we did the table read for the pilot, um, I don't think, no, I wasn't yeah, I, I, yeah, that's right, Keller wasn't in the pilot. Uh, it, you know, we were doing the read-through, and I remember thinking, wow, this is not the, the comic book I grew up on. <laughs> But I thought it was a great idea. I think it was a great idea to make it a little more edgy, to make the town of Riverdale a bit edgier and the characters edgier. And um, you know, and they still take a lot of the, a lot of the comic book stuff. Uh, they still pay homage to it in the show. If you notice that, you know, when you go to the Cooper House, you know, our phones on the wall are rotary phones. Uh, when you when we went to the when we'd shoot in the Riverdale Register, all the computers were really old and. Everything's from the 60s, and then if you look at all of our vehicles, they're all from the 60s. So it's a way of sort of amalgamating the worlds. Um, but I think it's um, I, I think our show uh, has a really nice look to it, the way that they light it, the mood that they use for it. Um, I think I, I, I like it a lot. I think it's really cool, actually. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a question. Um, you play a different character from Riverdale, who would it be? Like boy or girl? No, yeah, no, I, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, just, you know, I, 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 because of, you know, ultimately, you know, the, the relationship that uh, Luke and Katie develop with one another, it's, it's the same thing that I, that I enjoy about, about, uh, you know, about, about the character that I play is, you know, the relationship with Casey, and, and uh, you know, I just, I love the relationship the two of them have, it. so that for sure. I think for me, if uh, if um, Jughead was a bit older, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to play Jughead. I think oh, if you're playing Jughead, Jughead now, I don't, you know? Yeah. You know, it'd be fun. Fun. yeah. But I like that character. 23 years in grade 12. Yes. <laughs> That's 23 years of my life, grade 12. Uh, I, I really liked, um, I see, I, I always go back to the first season of the show because I really enjoyed the first season. Not that I didn't like Black Hood and the Gargoyle stuff, but I really enjoyed the first season because it was all about character and relationships, and, and I really enjoyed um, how they how Cole Cole's interpretation of Jughead at that point was you know this kid who was a bit on the outside, and, 
you know, he was introspective and he lurked in the shadows, but he always knew everything that was going on with everyone. And, you know, and then his voiceover, you know, for the intro and the outro of the show, uh, I thought it was a great idea. And so I just always kind of about, you know, kind of gravitated towards that character on the show. I always thought, man, if I was that age, I would be a really fun character. Okay, thank you. It's your love. Hi. Um, I have, like, two questions. My first question is, since the farm is like such a big deal in kind of both of your families in the show, do you think your characters would join the farm? And my second question is, did you audition for another character for Riverdale? Um, you know, I, I, I found out that my son, I should say, I found out, I found out that, uh, that Casey was part of the farm when it was the, it was the musical episode. I went to go watch my watch your kid do their thing or whatever the heck, and, and he, uh, and then I saw him walking around in a white outfit. I was like, oh, I guess you joined the cult. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I, I didn't have a nervous around it. You know, that's the thing is that, you, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll do different episodes or whatever, and unless you, so much happens and so much turns around that you, like, you, you, you know, if, you don't, if you're not around for a couple of weeks and then you show up and like, wow, what's going on if here? You're, if you're not in that particular episode, they don't send you the script. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, for us, yeah, I mean, we, you know, there could be four episodes that we're not in, and all of a sudden we're like, what, he's where? Like, I had no idea. I came to set, I think the first season, like some, some time around November when I did, when I first came on uh, in the prison cell, I had no idea that the Joneses lived in the Cooper house. Someone, someone was saying something <laughs> about that, and I'm like, hold on, what? The, the Joneses live in my house now? I didn't know that. So, so with Casey, too, it's, you know, you, 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 uh, you tend to sort of, when you're on set here, other people talk about certain things that are going on that we don't know about. So it's fun for us to check that out. Yeah, and I, I just I, I met on uh, I met on Keller. That's that was that on Keller. So I actually um, first read for the role of Fred, and the scene that I did in my audition, if you guys remember the first season where um, Archie and Fred are having a conversation on the porch, where Archie says that he wants to be a musician, and Fred is telling him that you know it's, yeah. You have a chance for a, a scholarship through sports, and I really think you should do it. So that's the scene that I read for the show. And so when uh, when Luke uh, was offered the role to play Fred, uh, they asked if I'd be interested in playing um, Hal Cooper. And so I didn't really know anything about it, you know. So they told me sort of what his storyline of the movie was, and um, and so I really liked the pilot. I thought the script was great. So so I jumped on, and, and here I am. Thank you. I went from Hal Cooper to Black Hood. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Do you think Tom Keller will have more scenes in season four? I have no idea. That's all. All of it just lives inside Roberto's mind. You know, must be really crowded in there. It's all on Roberto's laptop. Yeah, that, yeah, it's on Roberto's laptop or right? inside his brain, right? I can't even imagine what's going on inside his head with his other shows and everything too. I mean, we have a hard time keeping track of what's going on. Can you imagine? Like he's got three, he's got three shows with a whole pile of cast, and I don't know how he keeps a straight who's who. I don't know. You never know. You never know. Thank you. I have a question for like, each of you. So, for Walkwood, do you prefer playing a scary movie or a video more? And then for Martin, what is your opinion on Penelope? Well, I, I, I love her. She's hilarious, right? I mean, she's turned this thing into something just so camp and ludicrous and hilarious and over the top. I just I adore her. And, I, and, and she's a lovely person, too. Um, nothing like the horrible person <laughs> which she plays, you know? She just, she's a complete sweetheart, so I, you know, I enjoy, uh, you know, seeing her around work. Yeah, she's great. Uh, you know, for me, I, you know, I, I probably gravitate a little bit more towards comedy than I do drama, just because I feel that that's a little bit more of who I am. Um, so Scary Movie was a lot of fun for me. I, I mean, all the movies that I've done with the Lance family, they're, they're a pleasure to work with. And, you know, they're uh, imaginative and... They, they challenge you to bring out certain things, you know, as far as improv goes. And I love the fact that if you fall in your face, you can just yell, cut, and, you know, you try again. You know, there's no judging or anything. It's just a matter of, you know, he wants you to take risks and, you know, bring what you can bring. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think I'm probably, I think I'm, you know, as far as television goes, I think I'm more of a one camera half hour. Like, I would love to be on Modern Family or Brooklyn Nine-Nine and stuff like that. That's that's where I sort of feel like 
I, I could really lend myself to playing characters in that type of situation. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hi. Uh, so, when did you know you were going to be the Black Hood? Uh, I found out episode 21 of season 2. Uh -huh. So when I, when I showed the Cooper Home movie is when I, we did a read through uh, two days before we wrapped episode 20 and we read episode 21 and uh, I remember before we, we all sat down and it was actually, we were reading the script uh, at the lunch hour of the episode where Midge, where Midge's funeral, you remember we had Midge's funeral? And that we had to read through that day. And I remember Roberto looking at me and goes, Papa, I just need to talk to you about after the read through. And I went, I looked at him and I said, I am not going for a black hood fitting. <laughs> so I said, I him, I'm not going for a black hood fitting. And he kind of chuckled and I went, uh -oh. So then we read that script. And it was the script where I showed the Cooper Home movie and, and let them know that I was a black hood. So I kind of found out really how at the same time that the audience found out. Yeah. Uh, thank you. You up? Hey, if um, you could pick any of the kids from the cast to kind of be like under your wing, could be Black Hood. Who would you pick? <laughs> <laughs> you just you, you, you can take that time to nurture that young mind, right? You know, I always thought it'd be nice to nurture Archie into being a, 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 a murderous criminal. <laughs> Uh, I mean, listen, you know, I love all the kids, they're, they're fabulous, you know, I just, I, I really, I, I, I really like KJ's, he's, he's fun, he's got a great sense of humor, he's goofy, uh, he's a musician, um, so I, I would love to do more, more stuff with him, because I, I don't, I don't get a lot of the, you know, you know, Mark gets to work with the guys a little more, and they're, they're a little jokey, and, you know, they're goofy, and they have a, a good time on set, you know, just, Keeping it light, and I, and I love working with Lily and Major, but those are really all I ever work with. You know, I'm part of the Cooper dynamic, so um, KJ would be probably the guy to bring him to that way. Yeah. And uh, if um, you could replace FP Jones as like the sheriff, like who would you pick to replace him as a new sheriff? Pick to replace. Him. I don't know whether I'd wish that um, that sweatsuit in, uh, in August on anybody. I think that would be kind of unkind. That's what you do to your enemies. Yeah, you know, somebody I really know. Here's the polyester wardrobe. It's 35 degrees Celsius, and, and you can you can wear this plastic outfit, a pair of cowboy boots. That's great. We'll stand in the sun all day. Now you know I would I would wish that upon anybody that I like for sure. I think and I, 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 I think Fangs Ogre so should be the new show. <laughs> what do you think, Fangs? I agree with that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, thank Cheers. you. I have a question for Lachlan. So, as Buddy's dad, what are your opinions on Bughead? Well, okay, so here's an interesting thing for you guys, and I don't know if it's on um, the actual DVD of season one, but at the very end of, se of season one, that episode, right after uh, Lily does her big speech at the town hall about, you know, people from Riverdale have to stick together, it's, you know, we're all we have. We come outside, and I'm with Polly and uh, Alice, and we, we sort of meet up with uh, Jughead and, and Betty, and we actually invite Jughead to live with us, because we know that he uh, doesn't have a home. And that would have been, that would have been the storyline if, um, if the writers uh, didn't feel that the whole serpent thing was going to work. So once Jughead became a serpent, then that, that's why they took that seat out. So um, I think Hal approved of, of Jughead, you know, um, or what you call it? Bughead? But I always forget about that stuff. It took me a while to figure out ship. Oh, I have no idea what the shipping like, thing is. I just thought it took me quite some time to figure that out. It was fast. It has to have that. So that stuff, you know, we're 50 year old guys, you know, that took us a while. The kids have taught us a lot, you know, memes. I grew up on boats, so is it a Is it a ship? Like, I don't know. Yeah, the memes, like, watching the kids, like, fire off texts and do live tweeting, it's crazy. I don't know how they do it so fast. They come up with all these. Is it a GIF or a GIF? It's a. How do you pronounce it? The GIF. Casey. Being, uh, Casey being the, the good son that he is, actually, like, he showed me how to get the little blue dot. He actually got it for me, the little blue dot thing that you have in your Instagram. And it, so I go to him and I go, so how, how does this work? Here, with the, I want to put the little movie thing in the little dot up by the corner there. And he's like, 
there you go. And she's like, you're not good for it. I have no idea, right? I mean, that's what you have children, isn't it? To be able to help you with technology? Yeah, yeah I always find that, you know, the live tweeting thing always kind of, kind of, I, you know, because I always thought, why would someone want to live tweet with the cast as they're watching the show? Doesn't that kind of take you out of it? And also, too, why do we always just live tweet with the East Coast people and then on the West Coast people know everything that's going on? Right? I never could figure it out. I tell you how I live tweet, and I hate to tell you this, and I don't really do it anymore, but I, I, I did it a lot first season, is I, I just basically watch what all the other people, all the other kids are tweeting, and they're like, oh my God, can you believe Cheryl did that? And then I'll just chime in and go, oh my God, yeah, I couldn't believe she did that. I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. I just do, I just follow what you're saying. Well, also, yeah, because it too works in Canada, right? So it, it airs on CW the, the day before or on a Wednesday, and then, and then it shows up in Canada on Netflix on Thursday. The rest of the world shows up, you know, so more part of the rest of the world. Um, uh, it shows up, so we're not, we don't actually, we don't, for the most part, unless you're sitting down in LA, then, you know, we don't see it until the day after it. Yeah, sometimes the WB, they send you these, they're called DAX. Um, there's some sort of format where they send you this and you can watch it on your phone without commercials and they time it out with the commercials. So sometimes we end up like maybe five seconds behind what you guys are watching live on those Wednesday nights. I don't even have that on my phone. I couldn't figure that no, out. No, I didn't. I never asked Casey. But they said, but they said it to me all the time. I've never opened it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but everywhere in the world except the United States, um, we air on Wednesday night on the CW, and then the very next day, that episode is available on Netflix, everywhere else in the world except here. So here in the States, you guys have to wait until our very last episode, and then you get... CW app. Oh, CW app can do that, man. Yeah. So Netflix uh, air will, will let you guys see the whole season of episodes uh, 10 days after we, our last episode or something. 